Abby. And my name is Becky. And we are the Sorry Girls. And today we are here to give you some eco-friendly DIYs as well as a bunch of really awesome eco-friendly tips. One of you asked for eco-friendly DIYs mm -hmm. um, because you were like, it's really trendy right now. And I was kind of like heartbroken, but also excited because I think I live like a semi-eco-friendly life. Mm -hmm. um, and so I jumped at the chance to like make it Tell eco people about it. Yeah, even though I'm like, I'm not doing this because it's trendy, but whatever, it's fine. And I also know that transforming your whole life into being perfectly eco-friendly is a bit of an overwhelming and scary thing to think about. But I think with these DIYs and tips, they're like slow baby steps to help you transition into just being a better human. And some <laughs> of them are money saving and some mm -hmm. of them are just like cuter than the non-eco-friendly alternatives. So you're welcome. All right, so let's hop right into some of these DIYs and tips. All right, the first tip and something that we do often is shopping at a bulk food store. So not only are you saving money by doing this, but also you're not buying a whole bunch of packaging. Like they're getting mm -hmm. it in bulk and then you're just like putting it into your cute little glass container that you can bring home. So uh, the bulk food store that we go to, you can bring your container, they pre-weigh it, mm -hmm. then you fill it up and then they weigh it again and you pay for the difference kind of thing. You can get, oh my God, I love going there. I get so inspired. There's like, you can get rice, you can get coconut chips, you can get stuff to bake with. They have so much more stuff there than I realized that you could buy in bulk. Like they have tubs of peanut butter, coconut, honey. Coconut oil. Yeah, coffee beans you can just get like in bulk. It's amazing, it's yes. amazing. Go check out your local bulk food store. You're to be inspired, you're gonna save money, and you're gonna save the environment. Totally. All right, so speaking of food, our next eco-friendly hack is actually a DIY, and it's to DIY your own reusable shopping bag, because you don't wanna go to the grocery store and be getting plastic bags every time. They're not great for the environment, and they cost you like 10 pence now. And the one you can buy at the grocery store can make them so much cuter. <laughs> So to make this reusable shopping bag, this one is actually sponsored today by this amazing company called Thread. And would you believe that this fabric right here we use to make these bags is actually made from recycled plastic bottles? What? So Thread transforms plastic bottles that are taken from the streets of Haiti and Honduras and transforms them into the most eco-friendly fabrics on the planet. It's kind of mind-blowing. I watched the video on how they do it and I'm just like, what? What? This what? doesn't feel like plastic. It's great. No. And it's actually creating jobs in the developing world in the United States. And it's making fabric. Like, Which is amazing. Mind blown. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna show you right now how we made this reusable shopping bag from this amazing fabric. Start by taking your fabric, fold it in half, and cut two large rectangles out of it. Make the rectangle roughly as large as you'd like your tote to be. Start with one rectangle, fold it in half vertically. Mark 15 inches down from the top and one and a quarter inches in from the top. Connect to these points to form a diagonal line and cut this line. Repeat this with your second rectangle as well. With your two shapes cut out, Unfold them and lay them on top of each other. We're going to sew together the two vertical sides and add individual hems on the top two angles on each side. You can roll the raw edge under itself to create a super clean hem. Once you're done, it should look like this. Next, we're going to join the top handles by laying the tops of each side together, good sides facing in. Stitch a straight line about an inch down. Now you can roll under each side and sew those up to stop the raw edges from fraying. Next, take the bag and pull it out to the sides so that you shift the side seams to the center of the bag. Sew a straight line across the bottom. Flip the bag inside out and it's all done. So now you can get fancy with decorating your bag. We have this punny deal with it template available on our blog since we'll be using this as a grocery bag. We cut this out using our silhouette machine and some iron-on fabric. We'll link the fabric below if you happen to own a silhouette, but if not, you can cut out the stencil and paint over it. So our next eco tip is to shop at the thrift store whenever you can. So we have a series here called Thrift Flip, which you guys love, and we love it too. We go to the thrift store and we upcycle stuff from the thrift store because it's great to buy products that are already made instead of supporting new things that are being made and wasting materials. We always like to reduce, reuse, recycle whenever we can. Reuse, reuse, recycle, upcycle. Upcycle. So we actually made something from the thrift store for this video too. Yeah. So we actually found these curtain panels at the thrift store. They're like this mesh material. We're gonna upcycle them into the fruit and veggie bags that you would normally get at the grocery store um, in plastic, but we're gonna make our own. For these reusable fruit and veggie bags, start by cutting out the mesh in the same way that we cut out our reusable shopping bags. Adjust the scale so they are much smaller. Instead of folding and hemming the edges like we did for the first bags, we're adjusting our sewing machine to use a zigzag stitch. This wraps the edges nicely so you don't have to worry about folding in the delicate mesh. If you want to know more about how to do this stitch, check out our Off the Shoulder Tops DIY linked below. Again, sew the straight sides together and sew the angle sides individually. 
pull out the sides to center the seam in the middle, sew the bottom up, and we chose to leave the handles unattached so you can tie your bag up in a knot to stop any fruit from escaping. You can easily turn them into handles like we did before if that's what you would like. So speaking of your fruit and veggies, another great eco hack is to put your compost in the freezer. So a lot of the times people don't like to use compost because it smells bad yeah. and it gets fruit flies and it's kind of a mess. I get it, I've been there. Yeah. But this amazing idea was inspired when we were in an Airbnb and the host there had their compost in the freezer and we were like, what? Yeah. But then we realized if it's frozen, it doesn't smell, it doesn't attract bugs and therefore you're much more likely to compost if it's not annoying to you. Yeah, so I, try that out. I literally didn't compost until this freezer solution. Okay, another little tip hack. Um, I don't know if you guys know it. Maybe this isn't at every IKEA, but at our IKEAs here in Toronto, they actually have so many slots to recycle all different kinds of light bulbs, all different kinds of batteries, things that should not be going in the garbage. Hoard them <laughs> until you have to go to IKEA and then bring them. And I've totally done this and been like, hold on, I just gotta like deposit all my batteries into the IKEA slots. But yeah, totally. good hack. Go to IKEA, save your batteries, deposit them there. But also, another way to not recycle your batteries <laughs> is if you use rechargeable batteries. You don't even have batteries to recycle. Exactly, that's us right now because we have officially switched over to rechargeable batteries. We got this cute like rainbow set off of Amazon. They're so adorable. We can recharge them because we go through batteries a lot, unfortunately, mm -hmm. because of our like little microphones, little mic packs right and here, whatnot. and just other equipment and TV remotes, whatever. You go through batteries, so we use rechargeable ones. Yeah, so we'll link those below and all the other cute eco stuff that we've found along our journey below for you. Yeah. Our next eco-friendly tip is to use Castile soap. This is going to be your new best friend. So I didn't realize that a lot of regular soaps are actually made from animal fats. I was kind of very disturbed when I found that. So Castile soap is actually made from natural vegetable ingredients, which means it's great, all natural, good for the environment. It doesn't contain any toxic detergents, so if it goes down the drain into the water supply, it's not bad for the environment. And it also is non-toxic, so if you wanna clean things, you don't have to wear gloves and worry about that getting on your skin and ruining your skin. Lots of good reasons why this is an amazing product to start using in replace of soap and cleaners. On the cleaning note, another great hack is to use baking soda and vinegar. When you combine those, it creates a chemical reaction that instantly cleans things, and you can use it on everything. If you guys have seen our Loft 5 series, we cleaned our dirty, dirty bathroom floor with yeah. just baking soda and vinegar. It's super all natural, and it cleans actually very, very well. Okay, I hope you guys liked those eco-friendly hacks, tips, and DIYs. I know a lot of people, as soon as they hear eco-friendly, they're like, I'm falling asleep, but honestly, I just, these are things that you can do to make yourself feel better. Like, oh, yeah. forget about any other reason. It's just like things to do to make yourself feel better in your own home, in your own space. And if you guys have any really easy, eco-friendly tips yeah. and advice, That's please nice. leave them below because we're always looking for more ways to better our lives. Yeah, thanks guys. I would appreciate those. <laughs> um, and thank you to Thread for sponsoring this video and like hooking us up with your eco-friendly fabric. I'm like shook that that Amazed. is made with trash. And make sure to check out the blog post listed below. It's gonna have all these things listed as well as a bunch of our favorite eco-friendly products that you can buy to make your life more eco. Yeah, girl. All right, thank you for watching this video. We will see you next time. If you like it, like it. And if you love it, make sure you sub it. And see you next time. Bye.